Hey guys, Vladimir here. So 2022, starting off with a bang, Autodesk wasting no time dropping a big update to Fusion 360, which introduces a lot of really neat new features that I'm excited about. So today I wanted to just hop in really quick, pick one of those features to do a quick tutorial on. And the one that I chose is the tangent relationship. So I'm gonna hop in really quick, show you how you're gonna use this tool. Now this is something that actually you could do before, but it just now it's a lot easier, a lot simpler to get it done. And it comes just at the right timing because I'm actually working on an automata project right now and I'm not gonna go into it yet. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna stay focused here and on, on this tutorial. So let's hop into Fusion 360 and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's the model I quickly put together to allow me to demonstrate to you the new tangent relationship. I want to quickly get into the meat of this tutorial, which is applying the joints and then showing you how the new tangent relationship works. But for those of you who want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I created this model and to go ahead and play around with it, I'm gonna make it available to my Patreon subscribers along with the F3D file so you can download it. So if you're interested in that or you just wanna support the channel check out the link below to my patreon page so okay i've got three bodies here that are separated into three separate components so i've got a frame here my camshaft and my follower let's bring those back together and the first thing we're going to need to do is apply joints actually before that i'm going to have to ground one of these and so i'm going to ground the frame so i'll right click on my frame component and go to ground all right, next, what I'm going to do is apply a joint between the cam shaft here and the frame. So let's go to assemble down to as built joint. And we see our dialog box here. I'm gonna change the joint type from slider to revolute. Choose my cam shaft here and then click on my frame. That's gonna set that relationship. And next I'm gonna zoom in right here and I need to set that center of rotation there. So I can just do that by clicking on the uh, circle here, that perimeter there, and you can see the little flag right on that center. Click okay, and there it is. So, okay, so that establishes that the revolute joint. You can see I can move the cam here and it looks like we're breaking some laws of physics here because it's crashing. It's actually not crashing. It's going right through our follower there. So, okay, what we're gonna do is next apply a slider joint here on the follower. So we'll go to assemble down to as built joint, change our motion type to slider since we're doing a slider joint, select our follower here and then select our frame. And then let's go to a front view here and then you're gonna hover your mouse until you see that little arrow that you get there. Um, you're gonna wanna click on it and that's gonna show that motion. So we'll click OK. All right, so now we've got our two joints set, our slider and our revolute. And now we can simply select that relationship. So we'll go back up to assemble, down to tangent relationship, which is brand new, just announced. Click on it and all right, this part is important here. You're gonna to wanna to select the bottom face here uh, where I filleted this uh, edge here, that round curved part. Because this, uh, if you select this portion here, say that middle portion, and then select the cam wheel here, um, notice that you're not gonna get an okay there. It's gonna be grayed out and then you're gonna get a warning saying cannot resolve uh, some component positions. So let's cancel out of that. Uh, I just wanted to show you in case you, you get that error. But we're going to go back again to tangent relationships and you want to select the bottom portion there and then also select the wheel. It brought it right down, so it brought it so that the follower is tangent there to the wheel. We're going to click OK. And now watch the magic happen here. I'm going to click on the, the camshaft here and as I rotate it, the follower goes up and down. So. It establishes that relationship and it stays tangent to the cam wheel. How cool is that? So yeah, and then you can come up here, um, right click on Revolut under your browser here and just go to Animate Model and just watch it turn. 
So really, really cool feature here. This actually came at the right moment because uh, I've been wanting to create some automata designs and this is gonna be so awesome for that. It's gonna really uh, make this super, super easy to just really you know, get creative with this and do all sorts of different types of motions here. All right, that's how you do this. You saw how, how simple that was. I'll hit escape here to stop the animation. All right, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And if you're looking for the quickest and most efficient way to get up and running with Fusion 360, then definitely check out my quick start course link below. Also check out my Fusion 360 sketch constraints cheat sheet. Everything linked below guys. I will see you soon with a new video. Take care.